Square death. So the name of this drill comes from my athletes. They like to call it the square death. It's a pretty frustrating drill, but again, a very simple drill. What we need for this is just four hurdles, or even if you don't have that, a square, and just imagine those hurdles there, put tape down, whatever you need to do. So this is a plyometric drill, right? We can talk about all those fun things, the stretch shortening cycle, the God Golgi response, all that stuff. But what I want to do is put this in perspective. Why you're doing plyometrics is you're working on that power output, how fast and, and quick you can get it out of the ground with that ground reaction force. So I like to relate this to sprinting. You need to learn how to anticipate the ground, put your force in and out as fast as possible, right? We know the fastest people and the most explosive people in the world spend the least amount of time on the ground. So we need to work this. We need to work this every week. That neurological pathway, your brain telling those muscle fibers and recruiting them to fire, recruiting more for strength and for power. So. Think about that. Not only just think about, oh, I want to jump higher. Think about how that can transfer to speed, acceleration, cutting, anything where you're trying to put force in and out of the ground. So with this drill now, we can do two things. We can do this on both legs or we can do it on one leg. Obviously, you need to make sure you're ready and you're prepared and you're strong enough to move up to one leg. But with two legs, what you're going to do is you're going to step in the middle. You're going to get in that athletic stance. Balls of your feet, heels are off the ground, knees bent, abs are tight, I'm that rod from my ear through my hip, and my weight is over my toes. So my shoulders over my hips, hips over my toes. So if I turn sideways, this is the position I'm starting with. And then what I'm gonna do is go out and in, out and in, out and in, and then back and in. So I'm going around in a circle. So I may do five circles this way, then stop, and then five more circles this way, and maybe two on one leg or something like that. So. I get in this position, if I go slow, I'm trying to keep my hips in the same position. So I don't want to jump way up here to come out. I want to lift my knees and get a little bit of a pop off the ground. So I want to go here to get to here and then back in. And I'm trying to kind of keep what I like to call an inverted funnel. So my weight over the center, my body over the center, my legs are going in and out. I don't want to have to go way out here to come way back in. So as I go about half speed here, you also see what my arms are doing. My arms are going up with the force and then back, preparing for that landing and then back up with the force. So if I go up, back, up, back, preparing for that landing as I go all the way around. So if I increase the speed a little bit. Last thing we'll talk about is body awareness. So with that body awareness, as I step all over my square here, but with that body awareness, what we're focusing on is where am I? Can I still keep my eyes up, field vision, court vision, but know where things are and be prepared to land correctly, efficiently, and explosively. So if I do that, now on one leg, same thing, athletic position, ball of my foot, weight over, and I would just work at in and out and trying to stay, I don't wanna come way out here. Again, it's gonna be way hard to get back into the center. So I wanna come out, keep my weight over the center, and be prepared to go forward and backwards. So, Hardest part of this drill is probably going backwards because it will shift your hips. Remember, you gotta get your hips anteriorly rotated. The weight's always over your toes or else you might end up on your back. So, great drill, working on that plyometric aspect, but remember, take this into sprinting, cutting. How fast can you get in and out of the ground? That's gonna work on increasing your power output, but making you faster and more explosive.